Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel Beyond the Moon. I am doing your pick a card who is coming towards you in the next 30 days or so. All right, so there are three piles to choose from. Don't overthink it, take a deep breath in, breathe out one, two, or three. And we will get into each one of your readings. They are time stamped down below, so you can skip ahead, all right? And also, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below, and let me know. All right, see you soon. Hello, pile number one. All right, let's get into who is coming towards you in the next 30 days. All right, so you chose pile one. Pile one, it looks like you are going to have the return of the past coming back towards you here. Somebody that you were on a break with, time for a nap. Expect to receive a message from this person. I feel like they want a peaceful new beginning here. Um, it is somebody that you've already dated or you already know. Um, I am seeing 2-2 two, two here, so angel number 22 is showing up. Um, I am seeing 3-4-5. Actually, let me take that back. I am seeing 1-2-3-4-5. So that tells me that there will be progression here within this connection, all right? So if you felt like you were stuck in like a karmic cycle or round and round, off and on again, off and on again, I feel like this actually might... Um, stick if it's like the third time maybe third time's the charm seventh time who knows all right well let's get into what this person's intentions are here in this connection oh yeah definitely somebody from the past they are thinking about you reminiscing about you looking at old pictures videos memories they're trying to follow their intuition here with with their emotions. I feel like it's almost like that battle between logic and emotion here and they're trying to follow their intuition. They have some regrets, sadness, loss, remorse over losing you. Um, so there is like a sad dark energy surrounding this person right now when it comes to not being with you or not having you. There could have been a third party situation, possibly somebody like a work romance that went on here but I do feel like they want to work on this if there was a third party and third party could be a person place or thing okay so it could be maybe they put more time and energy into work or friendships or going out partying drinking having fun than they did with taking a relationship serious so I do see this person having a lot of regrets surrounding that because I feel like you you probably felt you had to walk away here they're going to fight for this, all right? They are going to fight for this. They've made up their mind. They've made up their mind. They are going to fight for this connection here. So expect a message, a phone call, an invite, something like that from this person. All right, let's see. What are the obstacles you're going to have to overcome when it comes to this connection? What are the obstacles you're going to have to overcome? Control, okay. This person could have been a little bit controlling or maybe there's something to do with um, them taking, taking control or standing up and fighting for this um, or you even taking your control back, okay? Um, your power back, stress. So I feel like there was a lot of stress in this connection and overcoming that could be a big obstacle for you, all right? Give me one more for obstacles, new vision. So changing your perspective or even them, seeing things from a different angle, having a new outlook on this, maybe giving it a chance. I'm not here to tell you what to do, okay? You got to use your own discernment here, make your own decisions. But I'm just telling you what this person's energies are. And I feel like they have a lot of regret for whatever took place in the past. And now they're making their decision here that they want to fight for this because they have a lot of regret, sadness, loss, remorse. All right. All right. So let's get into what this person might look like. What could this person look like? Let's see. What do they have for characteristics? Dimples. So this person could have some 
some strong dimples when they smile here. That might be something that attracted you to them in the first place. <laughs> All right, what else? What else? How else does this person look? What other features? What other features will this person have? Show me, show me clearly. Features. There we go. Has an accent, so they could speak a little bit um, differently than you. Pronounce words differently than you, or they could be, they could have some kind of an accent here. Black hair, so they could have darker colored hair. For some of you, you you could also have these features as well. Okay, so it can be reversed. Just keep that in mind. All right, it can be reversed. Let's see what else. What else about this person? Blonde hair. So for some of you, this is a a general reading. There's more than one of you watching this. Um, some could have black hair. Some could have blonde hair. Or you could have one. They have the other. We have well-groomed, all right, so if it's, you know, um, somebody with facial hair, they could keep it shaved, well-groomed. Um, if you have long hair, things like that, it could be well taken care of, just well-groomed, cares about their looks, their hygiene, all of that. All right, give me one more, one more. Shy, quiet, and reserved. <clears throat> so this person could be a little bit on the shy side, not really outgoing. Um, reserved, all right, a little bit of introvert, but could be an extrovert at times. All right, let's see, what could this person do for work, career? What's their job? All right, we have veterinarian and pet care. So they could work, you know, taking care of animals. We have coach, trainer social worker, entertainment industry. So much for that quiet, quiet, shy, and reserved energy, huh? Um, what else? They could be into hair, nails, beauty, or fashion. All right, give me one more for their career. Thank you, utility worker, all right. All right, let's see, how might you meet this person or where did you meet this person? I feel like you do already know them, but this could be how you met or where you might bump into them again. All right, keep an open mind. Let's see, what do we have for pile number one? Pile number one. All right, you could have met them at a fair or a trade show. Something where a lot of people might attend or a lot of people present. Um, during an emergency situation or out socializing with friends. All right, so you could have met them that way. All right, let's see. So what do we have? for animal spirits any messages for you and then we'll get into initial zodiac signs and all of that all right dear spirit bring a gentle touch so this might be saying you know be a little bit gentle here not harsh on this person because i feel like they made a really big mistake at some point here all right eagle spirit spirit has your back all right, um, you might feel a deer or an eagle are your spirit animals, okay? Um, all right, I'm going to do numbers and then I'll get into the other messages here. So numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years. Uh, could be an angel number or a date of significance, okay? What do we have for pile number one? We have six, six. Look up angel number 66. Um, we have two and five. So two, five, six, and four. So two, four, five, six. See, there's like progression happening here. All right, so it could be the second, fourth, fifth, sixth, 24th, 25th, 26th. Uh, somebody could be 42, 52, 62. Uh, 45, 46, 54, 56. Play around with those numbers, okay? 
uh, two, four, five, six. Could be February, April, May, or June. All right, uh, let's see. Zodiac signs could be their star sun, uh, sun placement, strong placements in their charts, uh, or something could happen during that season, okay? So Leo or Leo season, Aquarius or Aquarius season, um, Sagittarius and Aries, all right? So those are the Zodiac signs that we have coming out. Let's get some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. And if this person happens to have the same first and last name initial, it can be duplicated. I only have one of each, all right? So we have L, K, R, H, T, O, S, E, B, I, Z, and A. So L K R H T O S E B I Z A. Um, I see Tosh, Zia, Kai, Tori. I mean, you can play around with these letters too, okay? It could spell your person's name, could spell your name, a word of significance, all right? L-K-R-H-T-O-S-E-B-I-Z-A. All right, so those are the letters we have. Let's get some, uh, some other messages. I don't know why I'm like tongue twisted with this. I feel like maybe this person is like struggling with what to say to you when they do reach out and contact you because I'm like, <laughs> all right, we have new moon in cancer. Relax, relax. All right. Last quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less, feel more. And first quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. I was seeing that earlier, stepping into power control, taking action. All right, let's see what other messages do we have for pile number one. When it comes to this love coming towards them. What are the messages? Pile number one, pile number one. Water, work with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. Safe and happy travel, protection from harm when journeying. journeying. The sun, the golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. So I feel like things are going to turn into a more positive note with this connection. Uh, triple spiral, listening to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life's lessons. Definitely could have been a lesson here. And power symbol, cleanse, purify, and protect the physical body. All right. So make sure you're grounding yourself, protecting yourself. Maybe try to do some Reiki, um, crystal baths, moon energy, walks in nature, things like that to try and cleanse out some some old negative energy that no longer serves your highest and best good. All right, uh, pile number one, that is what I have for you. Um, feel free to please share, like, comment below, um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you would like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. All right, until next time, pile number one, send you lots of love and light. Take care. Pile number two, I see you. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. All right, pile number two. Thanks for choosing this pile. Well, 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 look what we have here. We have the fate, soulmate, and go the distance. I'm seeing seven, seven, and four, four, and 11. So 11, 44, 77, angel numbers. Uh, you can look those up, see if there's a message there for you. Um, I feel like this is actually something that is fated and destined. I do feel this is a soulmate twin flame um, bond here. 
and it seems like it is going to be strong, go the distance, and worth putting in uh, time and effort into. I feel like it is going to be the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. So let's check out what their intentions are. Then we'll see what obstacles, and then we'll get into all the fun stuff with the characteristics, how you'll meet them, zodiac signs, all that fun, fun stuff. All right, let's see pile number two. Who is this person? What are their intentions? What are their intentions? All right, so Seven of Cups. There could be some confusion going on. They may have some options, um, but I feel like you are the number one option here. You are the soulmate, yes. Somebody that maybe they have been wishing for, you've been wishing for. There is healing, hope, faith, and a wish come true when it comes to this person. Uh, double wish come true, nine of cups, what, emotional fulfillment, wish fulfillment, you may feel like you struck gold or they did, luck is about to change here when it comes to love, all right, let's see, let's see, what else, this person's intentions, what about them, oh, they could be observing you, watching you, um, online, maybe I met online, I don't know, um, I feel like you guys could be like observing each other or you got the attention of this person and they've been paying attention to you, seeing what you're about here, looking into you, looking you up online, seeing what you're about, all of that. All right, three of swords. Somebody may have just gotten out of a connection where there was some heartache, pain, all right, um... They about to make a leap of faith here. I do have the Empress. So I'm kind of seeing this two different ways. So bear with me here. I feel like either this person is getting you. It could be flip-flopped and reversed. Okay, you guys. You could be getting out of something. Or they could be somebody that you had a child with or children with. And there was some heartache and pain wrapped around it. But I feel like... Meeting this person and feeling the connection with this person, you both feel that you want to take this leap of faith because it will bring you happiness here. All right. Complete, total happiness. Let's see. What are the obstacles you might have to overcome, though, in this connection? What are the obstacles? Harmony. So finding that happiness, peace, harmony, that middle ground, maybe there is like drama going on with an ex or something that you have to deal with or they have to deal with okay maturity so you might feel like this could be a little premature as far as you guys getting together because like i said somebody is still healing from this so if you're not looking for like someone to have baggage or bring that into the connection there might be a little hesitancy on finding that actual peace and harmony here um with this person some of you might know this person maybe you have a child with them okay so be a little flexible there with that but this connection is so intense so overcoming the intensity of it and not wanting to move so fast and jump right on in because you feel that that insane chemistry that soulmate bond faded destined like wishes coming true like they check all of your boxes except for maybe one that will be actually checked off eventually okay so there could be something about that <clears throat> going on all right let's see let's see what this person's personality is like tell me more about this person tell me more tell me more Okay, they could have tattoos and piercings, okay, or you could, look at this, has children. So there is something to do with like baby mama, daddy drama, something like that going on. Um, it could also be maybe you want children, they don't, or vice versa, okay? Um, so there could be something to do with children here. Um, then we have blue eyes, those dreamy baby blues. All right, what else? What else about this person? What else about this person? 
characteristics. Life of the party. All right. So this person is very outgoing, likes to have fun, loves the attention, which also could lead to maybe a little bit of a, a problem for some of you if you feel they're like a little immature or something like that and needs to be in the spotlight all the time. Um, but they, they're very outgoing. Uh, they could be shorter um, on the shorter side for height. Um, and then we have well-groomed. So they take care of themselves. They care about their appearance. They're well-groomed. Um, let's see what they could do for a work, job, career. What field are they in? Let's see. Let's see. Hair, nails, beauty, fashion. Well, they are well-groomed, so... <clears throat> I mean, this could be you as well, all right? Could be a match for you as well. It can be flip-flop. Some of them could be towards you, and others could be towards this person. So, all right, let's see. What else do we have? Career, jobs. All right, computer, tech, IT, creative design. So that could be um, creating websites, interior decorator, um, artist, anything creative design. Uh, CFO and accounting, so financial officer or accounting, something with numbers, could work in the medical field or the postal service. So they could be a nurse, a doctor, um, at home healthcare aide, something in the medical field, and then postal service. All right, how are you going to meet this wonderful person, your soulmate? How are you going to meet your soulmate? Where are you going to meet them? Where are you going to meet your soulmates? Pile number two. All right, online dating site. <laughs> I did see that. It could be online, you guys, for some of you. Uh, through a family member. All right, while you're out shopping at a store or gas station, we have coffee shop here and while on vacation or holiday. So a couple different ways you might meet this person. Um, a family member might work with them, know them, want to set you two up, think you guys would be an awesome match, and it turns out you are. Um, make sure they're in your, your wedding party. <laughs> I do see this going long distance, just saying. Um, yeah, you could, while you're grabbing a coffee, um, on vacation, holiday, pumping gas, shopping at a store, um, or online. All right, all right, all right, let's see. We're going to get some numbers, could be birthday, anniversary, age, number of days, weeks, months, years, uh, angel numbers, place it where you see fit, okay? What did we got? We have seven, seven angel numbers, and I was seeing that I think earlier, right? Yeah, seven, seven. So look up angel number seven, seven. So we have two, seven, nine, and eight. So two, seven, eight, nine. So it could be the second of any month, seventh, eighth, ninth of any month, 27, 28, 29. Um, could be an age, play around with those numbers, two, seven, eight, nine. Uh, could be February, July, August, or September, All right? Zodiac signs could be their sun placement, star placement, uh, moon rising, at strong placements in their charts, or something could happen during that season, that Zodiac season, all right? So we have Cancer, Libra, Sagittarius, and Gemini. Cancer, Libra, Sagittarius, and Gemini. Virgo just flipped as well. All right, so it could be any of those signs, you guys. Let's get some letters. Could be uh, first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Um, if they have the same first and last name initials, it can be duplicated. Um, but let's see what we have here. So it could be W, S, L, A, Z, U, B, E, F, J and Y. So W S L A Z U B E Y J F. I'm also seeing P O D in in the jar. All right. So play around with those. It could spell a name. Could be initials. Word of significance. Okay. All right. Let's get some 
animal spirit messages for you. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. This could be um, a spirit animal to you. The message could be for you. Sometimes number signs come out as well. So let's see what else for pile number two. My ear is ringing. All right, parrot spirit, watch your words. All right, so there could be something you might need to watch what you say um, around this person, but if you have to do that, then that's not cool, you know? Um, and see the big picture. You might be afraid, that's what I'm thinking. If this is someone you don't know, you've never met, you might be afraid that you're gonna say something stupid, act stupid, embarrass yourself, I don't know, see the big picture. I feel like this person is meant for you. You're meant for them. So the judgments on that, I, I just don't, I don't see it. All right. Um, give me one more, one more for pile number two. One more. All right. So giraffe, parrot, wombat spirit, be at home. So I feel like you're going to feel at home with each other. There's going to be a comfort level here. All right. Oh, and I have wolf spirit too. Some of you might like wolves. Turn knowledge into wisdom. All right. Moon messages. What messages do we have from the moon? Moon messages. What did we got? All right, new moon in Pisces, attuned to the divine, follow your intuition here, all right? First quarter moon in Virgo, assess the situation, look at the big picture, remember, and new moon in Scorpio, go deeper. So don't be afraid. I feel like some of you might be a little hesitant or afraid, especially if there's if it's someone you met online, um, to meet them in person and, and be scared. I mean, it's not for everyone, right? So... Could be some hesitancy about that, but all right, let's see. Let's see what other messages. Dragonfly, you bring light to this world. Yeah, I feel like you light up this person's life. You bring happiness to them. Uh, some of you might be attracted by uh, dragonflies or two dragonflies or you see them a lot. Uh, time to shine. Create the energetic... Um, Renaissance for golden opportunities, time to shine. There's a lot of sun and shining coming out. You bring light to this world, shining and achievement, win the award uh, or contract. So you're gonna, this is a winner here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner for you. Uh, I see all good things. I just see like one little hiccup. This person might still be healing or so are you. You might not feel that you're ready. They might not feel it. Um, but there is such a, a magnetic attraction here between the two of you. It's undeniable. So if it's meant for you, it, it might pass you by like once or twice, but it's going to keep being put in front of you. So pay attention. All right. All right, pile number two. That is what I got for you. <laughs> uh, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below. And if you would like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, love and light. Take care. All right, pile number three. Who could it be? <laughs> I know, I know. I'm a dork. All right. Uh, so let's see your energy here for this person, this person's energy. We have loyal heart, happy, happy, and milk and honey. Yeah, something sweet, something that's going to make you really happy. I feel like there is a lot of loyalty here between you and this person. Um, I do feel like it's a new beginning. I see an egg here. Um, I'm seeing number 55 for angel numbers. I know in some contexts that could be um, chaos, confusion, conflict. But if you look up angel number 55, there might be a whole new meaning for you. So look that up, all right? Um, I am seeing one, two, three as well. So I feel like there could be progression um, within this connection here. So let's see, tell me about this person, their intentions for pile number three. Tell me about this person's intentions. All right, two of swords. So they could be in the middle of making some kind of head over heart decision. It could have been a third party situation. You might already know this person. Um, 
third party could be person, place, or thing, okay? So it could have been like work got in the way, career, school, distance, um, could be a person, could be a third party cheating type situation, okay? Um, which contradicts loyalty, but loyalty and faithful are two different things. So I feel like this person is very loyal to you and you are to them. Um, they could be leaving a situation to come towards you and become single, solo, independent, but they're they're making that decision here. So let's see. Let's keep going. What's going on with this person? Ooh, King of Swords. Yeah, they're very um, logical when, when they're... Um, and their thoughts are making decisions here. And then we have Knight of Cups. So they could be coming back to you maybe with an apology, a romantic gesture, uh, knight in shining armor, sweep you off your feet, something like that. Yeah, because they want a new beginning in love. They love you. They care about you. There's emotions. There could be something that needed to happen in divine timing here between the two of you. So maybe the timing just wasn't right before. I feel like now it is. Now you're coming into the right timing. Things are going to balance out and a wish is going to come true. I do see a lot of strength in this connection here. All right. Uh, let's see. Obstacles. What obstacles might you have to overcome with this person? Participation. Silence. So if there was a time uh, when you guys weren't talking to each other or you felt you had to not talk to them, overcoming that participation, what was your role in this? What was their role in this? Who else was involved in this and overcoming that and conditioning? So seeing things a different way, a different light, changing your perspective. Um, and also if somebody was conditioned to think a certain way, maybe you guys bumped heads um, over how things are supposed to go or your beliefs, their beliefs. So there could be something about that that could be a little bit of an obstacle here between the two of you, but I don't see it's, it. It can be overcome. I feel like if you really want this, they really want this. I feel like it's going to light you up. I mean, there's rainbows here. There's new beginnings, milk and honey, loyal heart, I, I happy, happy. I feel like you're going to be lit up over this. I feel like it's going to be a really happy connection. Um, so let's see characteristics. What could this person look like? What characteristics do they have? Shy, quiet, and reserved. Um, it could be you too. So feel free to reverse the roles. Some could be you, some could be them. All right. Uh, blonde hair, down to earth. So shy, quiet, reserved, but down to earth, blonde hair, light colored hair, what else? Anything else about them? All right. Very mysterious. Very mysterious. So they may not wear their because they're shy, quiet, and reserved. They could come off as very mysterious, but they are chill, down to earth, relaxed. I don't think they're like uptight. Um, for some of you, they might have some facial hair. All right. They might have like a goatee, beard, mustache, whatever. You might like that. That might be something that turns you on or you might have that. All right. It's general type reading, you guys. Hopefully more than one of you are watching this. <laughs> so have an open mind with all of this. All right. Have an open mind. Can be reversed. Or it could be something that you're looking for uh, in this person. All right. Give me one more, one more, one more about this person. All right, short hair, all right, short hair. I also have animal and pet lovers, so they might they might love animals, all right, um, and have some of their own. So let's see, what could this person do for a job or career? All right, we have utility worker, finance, investment, or crypto. Ooh. Be a lot of them all right let's see we have hunter fisher or outdoors so this person might like outdoors stuff uh cfo accounting marketing pr child care health and fitness so they could work in any of those fields you could work in those fields all right utility worker fisher hunter outdoorsy uh finance investment crypto cfo accounting child care uh, health and fitness and marketing. All right. 
let's see how did you meet this person how will you meet this person where is it gonna happen let's see where are you gonna meet them where are you gonna meet them all right through a friend or a friend of a friend <laughs> All right, so you might end up going out to something, having fun and meeting them on accident, or maybe a friend is trying to set you up on a blind date. Uh, so you may have met them in school or college, so you might already know them. You might already have dated them. This could be somebody coming back for some of you. Place it where you see fit. All right, what else? How else will you meet them? Just give me like one or two more. Thank you. All right, at a fair or trade show. I also have while on vacation or holiday. All right, so uh, you could meet them through a friend or a friend of a friend, school or college or at a fair or trade show. All right, let's get some numbers. Could be their birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, angel number and age. Place it where you see fit, all right? All right, we have one four six seven so it could be the first fourth sixth seventh fourteenth sixteenth seventeenth um of any month could be number 41 61 64 46 47 play around with the numbers all right one four six seven uh and then it could be january april june or july Zodiac signs could be their sun sign, star sign, strong placements in their charts, or something could happen during that season. All right, let's see. What do we have? Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, and Leo. Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, and Leo. All right, we're going to do some letters. Could be their first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. All right. We have A U E L W P V R F T B C Y J X. So I know it's a lot, you guys. Um, U A E L W P V R F T B C Y J and X. All right, let's get some spirit animals. This could be a message for you. You could be drawn to this type of animal. It could be your spirit animal. So take it how it resonates. All right, what do we have for pile number three? All right, B spirit. Sweet results await. Milk and honey. What? Sweet results await. Fox spirit, think on your feet. And lizard spirit, dream the world into being. So some of you might be attracted to foxes, bees, or lizards. All right, let's see. Moon messages. We have full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. So go with the flow. Don't force. All right, go with the flow. And then we have last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen. So be yourself. Don't put on a facade or a fake mask. Be you. Be you. Because I feel like this person, they're down to earth. They're laid back. They they appreciate that, you know. They're that type of energy. They, they want the real you, you know. Um, not saying that you would act any other way. I'm just, you know, be you. Just be you. All right, so we have Abracadabra with wings. Uh, fantastic, good fortune, and lucky chances. See, I'm telling you, there's something like you, your luck is about to change here big time. Uh, perseverance, the motivation to keep going despite the odds, so don't give up. And achievement, win the award, accolade, or contract. You're going to be winning. Something is really going in your favor here. Something like the, the forces are with you. It is strong. Something is going in your favor here. It's good. It's it's really positive. Really positive. Like, I don't know. Are you going to win the lottery? Or is this the person like you've been dreaming of? The knight in shining armor? Male or female? Doesn't matter. No gender in tarot. Okay. Um, 
th there's just something, something amazing about to happen for you. So be ready. Be ready. All right, uh, you guys, that is what I have for you. Um, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below. And if you would like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, love and light. Take care.